Grand Strand authorities are also working to crack down on the drug dealers they say are targeting your kids. Our Tegan Brown joins us in the studio now telling us about the potentially dangerous risks so-called look-alike edibles pose. This is scary, Tegan. Yeah, it absolutely is, Eric and Rachel. I mean, I'm told that local drug dealers are disguising their weed edibles to look like brand name snacks that can potentially cause everything from nausea and confusion to psychotic episodes. It's hard. So if you look at the packaging, it's intentionally made to look for kids. They're putting Sour Patch things on them. They're putting other candies. Nerds are making them bright, colorful. They, they seem to want kids to ingest these so the kids don't know any better. Dr. Brandon Stransky has seen a number of these cases come into Conway Medical Center, but it's not just in the Grand Strand and the PD where these cases are increasing. The AAP Pediatric Society did a study on this the past five years. 1,400% increase in the past five years in ingestion of edibles for kids just under six, not even including teens and college. And we've seen in this area alone a significant amount of kids and high school, college students coming in with accidental ingestions, overdoses on these edibles because it's something new not well regulated and not well understood by the people ingesting them. Not all parents bring their kids directly to the hospital though. Palmetto Poison Control at the University of South Carolina has also seen a number of calls about these cases go up. It's increased basically from around 20 calls in 2020 to over 100 calls in 2022. Um, and we're still on track to get that much uh, this, this year as well. Both doctors say if your child accidentally ingests one of these cannabis products, you should seek medical attention immediately and you should bring all the information with you. If they have the wrapper, they need to get the wrapper so we can understand what the dosage is um, and then they need to bring them in for evaluation. You know, even just a short ER observation is beneficial because we can have them on monitors, anything changes, we can give them fluids, antiemetics, um, but understanding what they ingest and how much is really important so if they can bring the wrapper, the container, the package, it'll be really helpful for us. Dr. Michaels told me even if your child is not experience, experiencing symptoms after ingesting these products, you should still seek medical attention. Reporting in studio, Tegan Brown, WMBF News.